Hey everybody, welcome on back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Sky Hill. My name is Splattercat and I went to the wrong floor. Let's just go down as far as we can. Really? He let me out of the elevator? What a nice guy. What a pal. What a friend. What a dude. So, we've got a decent run going right now. It's not like the best run, but it's sort of working for us. I think we could use a little bit more accuracy, which is where I think I'm going to dump my stats from now on. Because our lack of ability in hitting these enemies is really... It is becoming a little bit troublesome. It's becoming difficult getting the attacks across, and that's not a good thing. I mean, what good is a good attack if you can't hit anything, you know what I mean? And so... Oh look, this is one of our guys right here. Bearing that in mind... I think I've made it my goal. Oh good, we can make ourselves some more bread. That'll be nice. If I can get a couple of waters, we can make a bunch of breads, and that should be able to fix us up. Nice and tidy. Nothing right there. When is our next level up, out of curiosity? We got like 10 XP left to go. Probably dump a whole bunch into loverly, loverly accuracy after this. I'm thinking my next go, I'm hit on the 69th floor. Hurry, Dad, please. Okay, so no wins right there. No wins right there, neither. We lost our nails, so I guess I'll take that. We're a little bit gaunt and hungry right now. Man. We just cannot get this done, can we? Lots. I think they might need to raise the loot rate slightly. Not by like a lot, but as it stands right now, it seems like you have runs where your luck is just on and you get all kinds of loot and you're good to go. And then other runs, you seem to really be having trouble like putting the basics together, you know what I mean? A new message from Dad. I'll find you in the next life, you bastard. I'll tear you apart for Katie. Alright then. Dead lady with a coin over there. Must have been a stripper. It was in her bra. That's how I know. Let's see. They always do that in like TV shows and shit where girls put stuff in their bras. I don't know. My girlfriend says that doesn't work. She said your bra is not like a purse. Like everyone on TV makes it out to be. It just does not work out like that. I think we may have to... I'm waiting to see if I can find some alcohol to convert that into something a little bit better. But we're low enough right now on food too to where... <laughs> A little bit nervous about that as well. Did we just one-shot that guy? Hell yeah. Get a fish out of there. A little bit of wood. We might be we might be in okay shape here. I'm going to go back upstairs to the VIP room real fast. And factoring in, let's say that we take the food. We can make coffee. Or we can make bread. I would say that the bread is the better call. So let's go ahead and craft that. Right there. Actually, the coffee, yeah, you're just turning... Turn a 7 into 12 versus 6 and 5. I mean, it's kind of not much of a difference here. That'll keep me going for a little while longer. And the gamble now is that we have to decide. I'm going to eat the other flour, actually. We've got to decide whether or not we want to use this in order to make a sandwich. Got a dirty note. I, had a, I thought it was going to be like a filthy, like, X-rated note. I had a nightmare last night. Sean turned into one of those monsters, and I ran from him through an endless corridor of doors. Each one shuddered as I approached, and I had to keep running while throaty breath and clattering claws closed in from behind. I woke up in a cold sweat, checked out Sean was doing, and thank God he didn't change. Just as dead as he was yesterday. Thank God. It's kind of a dark point. Oh, look at that. It stacks. You keep the XP that you've already gained. I don't know how I didn't notice that up until this point, but I thought it reset each time. That'll be okay. I'll probably just... I'll probably just use those to even out my health, and then we'll go back down. Ah, shit, it's one of these little assholes. So with these guys, you've really got to decide whether or not you want to go for the crit on them. And if you go for the crit, it eliminates the chance that, you know, he's going to wipe you out with a nasty attack later because he can melt on you. And once that happens, you're kind of shit out of luck. Looks like we got some garlic and a staff. See, I always regret building the staff because we always find one anyways. Got this guy right here. Um, stick with what we have, I guess. We still got a pretty decent chance to miss, but at this point, we're actually capitalizing pretty well on the casualties of our enemies. Eat the garlic right now, and then we get the bread on that side. I don't really know. Hmm. And breaking down the extra weapons would actually really help with that situation. Or, I mean, they could just make it a disableable option. I mean, if you don't want to use it, you know, increase the difficulty for yourself. I'd say let's get some medical supplies. So we got a little med kit from right there, and then we got some painkillers. Sounds good to me. Got some dog food from right there, which is also nice. So I'm going to use that, and I'm going to use the little med kit. 
and we are now back on easy street. It's funny how like a couple of items can really make it so that you go from like a losing run to a run where everything's okay for at least a little while longer. I think it also sort of depends how much you walk around and look at stuff. I don't think I'm going to fight him. That room doesn't appear to be worth it to me. There's only one lootable object, so why bother with it? Got another power junction over here that needs to be fixed. So it worked. It cost us a lot of hunger, though. But luckily, I have things so that I can go back up to previous floors and maybe work my way out of this. Also, another dog food. So, yay! We're good for another day. Just in case you wanted to say hey and rhyme while we got out of the way. Mm, shit, people throwing things through windows again. Got some raw meat. I will... Actually, I probably should have taken that back upstairs. Yep, I screwed up. Shit, I ate that as a reflex before thinking about it. Okay, so we need a key to go in there. Got another big bastard right here. It looks like you could potentially loot a couple of things out of there. If I go that way, what are my chances of... Let's go for it. You know, I think if we could fish it out... Oh, it doesn't really matter if he keeps getting crits, does it? Got plenty of objects, though. Hey, we dodged that one, so that's a plus. There we go. Got him. Oh, there's three looted objects here. Okay. The bandages will make up for some of the little bits of damage I took here or there. Probably use those for right now. Could I have turned that into a med kit? No, it's bandages and alcohol. And then that plus painkillers. I'll probably just take me back up to full health that way and just not worry about it. We can go back up to the top floor to refuel whenever we need to as far as food is concerned. And so I'm not going to... You know, I'm going to wait and see what I get out of some of these other rooms. we got a locked room right there. Ah, we're going to have to go all in on this guy, unfortunately. Let's go for the crits, I guess. Because I need him to go before like the third or fourth turn, I think. If he gets there, that's when you lose. And you get the poisoning. We can deal with the poison, but it's not too bad right now. Hey, we leveled up again. Okay. So with the level up again, we got to decide what we want to do here. We can either go with accuracy, or we can start pumping base stats. I think 26%, an extra 16% chance to hit is enough to where we're not in too bad a shape. I'm probably going to take dexterity up to 20, and then we'll work on other stuff. For right now, I'm going to keep it where we're at. How much of a damage bonus did we get from that? I wasn't paying attention. I don't think it changed that much. I think we got like one damage out, so... Meh. Go ahead and let this guy have it real quick and just hope that we dodge. A little bit of pain dealt right there. He dropped a band-aid, which is great for us. And we got another feeder kill on this side. It's weird how the enemies that are super dangerous to you at the beginning of the game become feeder kills later on. We got another corrupted computer over here. We can't do anything with it. Yeah, it's all messed up. A little bit of alcohol and a little bit of something something right there. Hey, we got cable, which is actually a really good item. So that's pretty sweet. What do we need right here? Just wire. Just go ahead and do it with your hunger. Fix it with your hunger, sir. I know you can do it. Fix it with your hunger. I demand this. Nothing out of there but a little bit of liquor. For people that like liquor, I guess nothing will be something for them. For the rest of us, eh, I like liquor, but you know. I don't like that much. Not a huge deal. I think we're okay on food for right now. Actually, no, we're not. Can I make anything better through here? Make a cocktail with some coke. That'd be pretty sweet. Although you're only getting one out of it. We could also make a juice with two fruits. Not a ton of things we could do right now with the liquor, so I'll probably just drink them to get my hunger back and then save everything else. Use the bandages since we'll get the full 10 out of them. Okay. Just got another one of these guys. We're going to have to risk it, as always. Got a 60% chance, which is definitely gambling, but it's not gambling as much as one would... Ah, he did it on the second turn. Okay, so no XP from him, but we do get a little bit of loot, so it's not a total loss. Some glue and a knife from right there. Another one on this side. Ah, shit. Kind of lame that they just like get that hit right there. I don't know. It upsets me a little bit that that's not more. You can't deal with that in any way aside from I guess just walking away. I guess that would probably be how the design intent would be. Would be just to walk away and not worry about it. 
Drinking alcohol on an empty stomach is like the worst idea ever. So you get sh super shitty. Also, kids, if you're young or like recently turned 21, don't drink in a hot tub. The heat from the water makes the liquor go to your head. You get drunk faster in a hot tub. I think I can make a... Hmm, I can't make a salad. That's disappointing. I can make a fried fish, though, which is pretty good. Craft that on up. Get ourselves filled up. I guess that works just as well. Nothing to complain about there. Let's go in for a little bit of rest. Ah, we got attacked by the monster again. Oh, he broke my weapon. Never mind. Okay, so I guess that was a thing we hadn't seen. Not a big deal, because I had another staff, but... In a nutshell, monster broke into the room broke our weapon. He's being a dick. Oh, man, another one of these guys? Come on. Why you do this to me, universe? Why you do this to me? Okay, and so we'll go for the easy hit right there and just get rid of him. No loot, a little bit of food. The shit, another one. Just walk out of the room. I can't afford to get poisoned right now. You can take whatever he's got, and I just, I can't. Oh, it does reset. Never mind. Maybe I'm getting XP faster than I think I am. Things are going to start getting dangerous for us, though, around here, so we need to be kind of aware of that fact. I think I actually have the stuff for electrical tape, so I'm going to go back up to the VIP room. And then, who knew? VIP rooms, they come with crafting tables. Oh, it turns 7 into 12. It's not so bad, then. Yeah, that's not nearly so bad. Can eat those real quick. That'll get that all nice and taken care of with the stuff that I have laying around. Make the electrical tape. What do I need to go into the next crafting bench, by the way? Need gears and wire. I think I could probably make that happen. And so that gets us into our third crafting table. Which gets us into some pretty dope weapons here. We can make a sword hook if we can find some things. A naginata if we got a spear. It's a strength weapon though. We can make a sword hook right there. A double-edged sword would be sick, too. Kind of a Darth Maulish weapon. A jagged commando. Okay. A trident, if you've got enough machetes to make it work. You can make a pole axe. God. You can make a glaive, which would be badass. Considering we already have the stats for it, almost. A rapier, which would be actually a pretty solid direction to go next. If you could, you had to make a sword first, though, I guess. So the sword is purely a dexterity weapon. We can make an Ulu. Why is Ulu in here twice? I don't even know what an Ulu is. I don't think I've ever seen one before. It looks kind of like a Klingon weapon. Make a maul. It's just a brick on a stick. That's hella funny. Make the hunter, if you've got the things put together for that. But it'll take you a hammer, an axe, and some knuckles. Man. There's some options in here. Sort of depends what you want to go after, though. And then I think after that point, we see all the stuff that we've had before. Aside from the slasher, which we could make out of a lot of stuff. Really feeling like the scythe is the next place we probably want to go with this. Got the dexterity, now we just need the speed. And we can make it with a mop and a sickle. Because we just kind of got to hope that we pick those up along the way. Just keep what I have for right now. Back down to the 5-6. Use the electrical tape to get that patched up. There we go, an easy mob. And that's what I like to see. Go for the freebie hits and we'll just take a couple of damage. Unless we miss, even with all of our upgraded accuracy. A little bit of rice out of there. A little bit of glue out of there. And some more coffee beans out of there. We can't escape from this guy, so we gotta get... Oof. Real big hit right there. This guy's sort of single-handedly making us look foolish. 
have any coins. I got two coins. But I would rather use those on medical supplies for right now. Probably a better idea that I go back up to the top floor. And then I rest this on off. Should have done it while I was here, but didn't think about it. Take that up as high as I can. Hope for the best. Nightmares tortured me. The dreadful visions of a destroyed world and mutants devouring what's left of humanity. I woke up exhausted in a cold sweat. So we didn't get as much health out. Still something, though. Don't have any of the stuff to boil the rice or whatever, so I'll probably just go with what I have. God, I love steam rice. Steam rice is the best. Straight out the rice cooker. Yup. That is how we do. Some water and some expired milk. Shouldn't matter. We've got that trait that allows us to do, like, whatever the hell we want with everything, so... Crowbar right there. We could see how it stacks. 14 to 16. I don't think it's as good, but... Figured I'd take a look. I think the crowbar... Is a material in one of these, though. So that might not be an awful place to get started. So that would allow us, if we made the blade, it would allow us to make a kopesh. From the kopesh, that would transition us into the scythe. So, something to keep an eye on as we craft. I don't know if I should go upstairs or not. This big prick. I don't know if it's worth it. What can I do here? You get him in the head, you can do hella damage. It's a gambler, though. It is a gambler. Rely on a little bit of luck, and if he's got bad accuracy, we might be alright right here. There you go. Big level up with a little bit of wire from right there. I'm sorry, we didn't level up. But we did get a lot of XP, so I'll take it. New message from Darling. I still love you, and I'm waiting for you at our special place. You remember when we ran into each other on the 43rd floor? Nope, not at all. Then again, I'm a hustler like that. I'm a player, so... Sometimes I don't remember these girls. Oh, we're good now. We just picked up some good supplies. As long as we don't get killed in combat, I think we'll be alright. There we go. Fix that up. We'll go back up to the VIP level and do some crafting here. If I make a blade... I think the three sheet metal is probably going to work for me better here. We'll make the blade. You know, I like the way in this game how the decisions you make along the way actually do matter. Like, the mistakes you make, it's all inventory management, though. Because the combat is so simple that you're kind of relying on doing really well with the inventory management to get things finished. Probably fill up on the hunger off that, because I already have the thing that I have. Take the chocolate, too, and we'll just let that sit where it's sitting. I'll probably rest for two hours on the back end of this. But for right now, let's go ahead and make the scythe real quick. Or, I'm sorry, make the kopesh. The kopesh is an Egyptian weapon, as far as I remember. So there's the kopesh right there. We lack the speed to get it done. But if we level up, that would be our next stop-off point. And then from there, we would want to jump straight into the scythe. Which would give us the 13 to 16. So we want to mash strength for right now, as hard as we can. But much other than that, we are on the whims of fate right now. Actually, we should not rest. We should save our food because we have that full med kit, so it doesn't matter. Oh, shit. We can't fight her. We're not good enough. We don't have a weapon that's capable of killing her off. I think we'll just have to risk it and run past her. I mean, I don't even know if that's an option, but... She hits so hard. Let's go that route. I'm going to heal back up to full. Go Before going to bed, I decided to shake the crumbs and dust out of my backpack. Imagine my surprise when I saw I had enough scraps for a full dinner. It wasn't too tasty, but my belly was happy. Oh, cool. That didn't cost us hardly anything to rest there then. Good. I mean, I guess I could leapfrog her like that and just not do anything with it. I was going to try and fight my way through, but I guess that would just be me being stubborn, so I think I'm going to skip her. Some coffee and a coin. Good run right now. Good run. Okay. All right. We're in a good spot. Uh, do I have the stuff for electrical tape? If I do, 
Can I make it right here? Do I need a workbench? I need a workbench. We'll have to go back up, but it's fine. Go back up to VIP. And we have a pretty solid run going right now. I think we stand a chance. I think we stand a chance for right now. Not like a massive chance, but we might make it. We need a dowel, and we need some nails for that. I think I can do that. Let's upgrade the door so that when I rest in here, I've got a better chance of getting good events. So we'll take that, and let's upgrade the door real fast. Door's looking all nice and sexy. Oh, we got such a good run going right now. Nothing so far. Looking pretty strong. I'm starting to get nervous, though. Starting to get nervous. At this point, it would only take, like, small problems to cause us major issues. I'm going to go in on the hit right there and just hope that he doesn't vomit on me. I don't think we're going to have much of a choice. Just kind of got to take him as we go. Oh, we got some butter right there. Okay. Find some bread. We might have ourselves a full... Shit. Yeah, just run away. Don't fight with her. She's not worth it. Although we are starting to get her pretty frequently, which makes me nervous. A new message from Darling. You're late again. If you want to apologize, I'm on floor 35. I won't waste long, or I won't waste long, or I won't wait long. Waste, wait, whatever. It's all good. Oh, uh, we're so close right now. Starting to taste it. Oh, we got one of you little guys? Well, shit. I'm just going to hit you in the face then. No, I didn't want to run away. I wanted to click the thing right there. Shit. So they need to make it so that if you click below right here, you can't click to floors below or something. Because right now, I lose a ton of my stamina and hunger just like misclicking. Because if you're trying to click the attack button and you miss like ever so slightly, it makes you move out of the room because it thinks you want to go down to the next floor below. It's a minor annoyance, but it's still an annoyance. Go ahead and eat that real quick. This is all stuff that I'll want to save for later. So let's just keep trucking. The only thing I could potentially see going wrong here is if we get trapped in a corridor. So we got some scraps, some glue, and some random goodies right there. We got a big med kit. We got a rotten pepper and a brick. I'm going to eat the rotten pepper right now because I have the ability that allows me to do so. Nucks aren't going to be super useful for right now. 7.4 to 8 on those. Want some cabling right there. Do I have the stuff I need to make cabling? I got wire. In order to make cabling, I think I need tape. I've got the stuff. Let's go back upstairs. Alright, so we needed the tape. Craft that. Then we make the cable. That should be fine for right now. I should cook my food while I'm up here. Just so everything is done that needs to get done. So we'll craft you. Eat you right now to keep the hunger up. Got water. I'm going to keep a lookout for... I'm going to keep a lookout for flour along the way, I think. It is destiny. I saw Nikki in a dream last night. She called for me. She screamed that I must come and help her. Told me to go upstairs. Or downstairs. It felt like time stopped inside the skyscraper, and I couldn't tell whether to go up or down. My eyes failed to read the shifting floor numbers, and I wandered like one of the infected through the stairways and abandoned rooms. Fought local fauna for expired canned food. Recently, I've been seeing myself in a dusty mirror in a room. A tattered monster covered in blood, with a mad gleam in my eyes. No better than any mutant. Despite the triple dose, the patient is still in critical condition. Body temperature is 106 Fahrenheit, close to lethal. Patient is delirious, their speech is incoherent, there's no response to verbal stimuli. A quick radiogram showed major reconstruction of the nervous system and rapid growth of muscle tissue and bones. Theoretically, the patient should have died of shock at the start. However, pancreas, kidneys, and a couple of tumors on the left side of the chest produce an unknown hormone, which apparently allows the patient to survive their internal restructuring even on this scale. I don't want to mess with that guy, by the way. He's scary. He makes me feel nervous for my safety. I don't deal with long-legged beasties well. Yeah, I'm not gonna... She just hit me so hard. 
I'd rather not. The monsters are becoming real in here. They're getting real nasty. I think they also need to raise the amount of weapons that drop on upper floors. Because you try to get by by crafting, but most of the time it feels like you're behind the weapon curve unless you get really, really, really lucky. And I'm not saying they should tune it up a bunch, but maybe give you a better chance for, like, kopeshes and things like that to drop past a certain point. Because right now, it seems like you always get a staff. Like, every single time you get a staff, but other stuff doesn't seem to drop. Sort of makes me wonder. Right now we're not leveling, which is our big problem. Mm, yeah, I'll fight you. That seems okay to me. I got plenty of health and stuff, so I gotta feed on whatever kills I can out here. So 13 damage is what we need. Probably go for that one then. There we go. Got it done reasonably efficiently. We got an apple out of the whole thing, which doesn't get me super excited, but... It's something. Okay, another stick of butter and another coin. I may try to go back up and find a vending machine. You never know. If I had another cable right here... I think I've got the stuff for this. Let me go back up. Oh shit, our last elevator was way up here, wasn't it? Alright then. I think I'll go in on... Let's cook food first, because... I'll always forget if I don't. We'll eat that to keep ourselves squared away. That sticks of butter we can eat if worse comes to worse. I'd love to break down some of this gear for extra parts, but... I can make some wire. Once I got the wire, I need to make that so I can make some cable. That'll allow me to get back down to... Wherever I was. 41, I guess. Not super great, but the best I could do for right now. It looks like I can actually leapfrog here, too. If you're so inclined, if you really want to make it that far. Oh, shit, it's her again. I ain't got the health right now. I'm going to bail out. I got 45 health, and that means she could kill me in a couple of turns if she really wanted to. Metal and bandages. Use both of those. Do I have any keys? I still don't have any keys. I like ate that one run and now I got nothing. I'm gonna try not to break it off right here because this is probably gonna be the last episode I record anyways. My foolish heart will be broken if I can't win this thing. Go all in on this dude and just hope he doesn't vomit on me. Shit. There we go. 30 more XP for the pile. Another staff. And I don't know what the shit that thing's supposed to be, but I ain't fighting it, that's for sure. If I had full health, maybe. Like, maybe. I think I could out-DPS it, but that's gonna depend on misses and all that other kind of stuff. I gotta rather not take my chances. We got flour right there so we can make some bread, and then we can make butter bread out of that. There we go, no misses right there. Gambling. Alright, so now I need no miss right here. There it is. No poisoning. Can't deal with poisoning right now. We don't have the materials, I don't think. I think I need antibiotics to deal with the poisoning, so yeah. Probably an issue. I could definitely use some more XP, which makes me want to fight that guy up there. See if maybe I can level a little bit by going at him. Looks like there's one down. <laughs> we can go down one floor if you wanted to. And we made it pretty far. Cool. We made that happen. I think we're probably going to have to go back up to the surface pretty... I'm sorry, back up to the VIP room pretty soon. At this girl again. Go ahead and run out of the room. Take whatever damage you got to take, but don't be in that room right now. And that gives us a little bit to work with. We'll decide what we want to do up here. Her problem is that sometimes she gets double and triple attacks. And if she pulls those out and crits on them, it's just like a mess. A giant mess. And it's difficult to deal with. I'd like it if you got a little bit of XP for crafting or something, too. Like, two or three XP each time that you craft. So that you don't have a bunch of junk sitting around. You can basically hedge your bets and try and work your way to the next level. I think that'd be kind of cool, too. Show that your character is developing in ways other than just, you know, getting beefier and meaner. 
I'll take the butter sandwich. I think it's just buttered bread, to be honest, but... I'll take it for right now. Probably eat these two little things, just because I got nothing else going on. And we're in really solid shape, so I may give it another go in another episode. My name is Splattercat. I will see you all later. This is Sky Hill. I will see you next time. Hi to everybody.